Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video is going to be a how to de-restrict a 50cc moped. I'm not actually going to do it obviously because mine's already been done for me. Uh, but I'm just, I just had a few comments in the recent video saying how to locate the CDI box and all this stuff and basically the variator ring but I've already taken mine out so I'm obviously not going to dismantle the side of the engine casing I am going to show you where the CDI box is that is the variator, vari Jesus. The variator ring which you're going to be taking out right there that is what that looks like and that is located down this left side where the kickstand is you basically take this black casing off your variators on this side here you take that piece off i didn't do this myself obviously but then the rings inside and you basically just put it all back together and this is where the belt obviously goes round uh reset now anyway that's where the belt goes round now today i'm gonna show you where the cdi is and basically how you the process you will take to remove it remove it uh the bike is very wet at the minute and that is because i've washed it the other day and i haven't dried it yet uh we've got the brand new exhaust on that i can't even say the word for that it's like indrium or something sports exhaust uh it seems all right at the end of the day my old one down there it was just rusted to hell because it's steel i just wanted one that looked a bit nicer really and it is loud enough basically uh, i don't know how long it will last this exhaust ideally it should last the well, as long as i have the bike but i don't know we'll wait and see uh but anyway the process of locating your cdi is going to start with your seat bucket you're going to lift up your seat bucket like so and then you've got one two three four five six uh, yeah six bolts jesus didn't do maths did i yeah. the reason I'm, i've been making quite a few videos over the past few days because i am going to be back at work so so I'd make a few videos before I go back to work and then obviously schedule them to upload when I'm back at work that way I've got a consistent upload schedule going on I'm going to zoom forward to when I've got this bucket off so once you have removed your seat bucket you're going to be seeing this sort of thing the garage i took mine to actually snapped my front bucket bit if you can see on that side i don't know whether you'll be able to see it's got like little fins like help it stay stable they basically because they're a crap back garage uh they basically snap the top two off uh meaning that's a bit wobbly now but it does get hold held in by the bucket but you'd have thought they'd tell you that they've snapped it but that's what you get with chinese garage you know? uh anyway so looking in here this is basically where your engine is uh you got your air air flow there your intake and that um yeah it is quite dirty in here because obviously everything just gets splattered up in here like all down there that's ditched 
but where we need to be looking for the CDI is actually over here. If you can see over there, that is your CDI. And the one that I've got in here is a de-restricted one and it's held on to the frame with one bolt there and you're just gonna take that off, comes out, clip comes off it and then I'll show you my restricted CDI which is this one. This is my restricted one which they gave me back. Uh, and yeah, that is restricted. So what they say is 30-ish mile an hour but it's probably more like 28. So yeah, I've got that one now and obviously I've got the de-restricted one. It's a literally as simple as unclipping it, clipping the new one back in. And then if you put a sports exhaust on, your my one didn't have the Lambda sensor uh, port on it to put it in. So I had to disconnect the Lambda sensor, which is now here. And I've just put a plastic bag over it so that water doesn't go in it. The one problem with doing that is when you obviously turn on your bike, your engine management light flashes like normal and then it will start flashing like that. It's basically telling you you've got no Lambda sensor in. Uh, it's not a problem. It gets a bit annoying at night when there's a big yellow flashing thing at you. So I might go into here and disconnect the bulb. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for how to de-restrict your moped. You literally just unplug it, plug the new one in. They are hard to find, I'm not going to lie. They are hard to find. Uh, I could, When I type them on the internet, all I could find is the restricted ones. They're called Delorto. That's what I mean. Delorto is the brand. But... I don't think I've seen any other mopeds with this style, which is a bit odd, which I found when I got this moped. It was like a weird style, a CDI box, but that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. I'm going to put everything back together, uh, and then yeah, that's about it. So I've now disassembled the front of the, basically the front fairing, where the speedo is in here, and I've got this bulb here. You can see it uh, if you turn it on as you can see that is the engine uh, warning light which will now flash I'm just gonna leave that in there I think and then we shouldn't shouldn't get any flashing